Hello everyone and welcome back, it's Declan here. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get any car for free in GTA 5 Online after the patch 1.14 and this is actually part one of a two part glitch. Today showing you how to bring single player cars into online after the patch which means you can pretty much go ahead and get any DLC car from the garages in single player fully upgrade it then you can bring them into online and I'm going to be showing you guys that now so if you do go on to enjoy today's video all I ask is that you leave a like down below guys maybe share the video on your Twitter or Facebook as it really would help me out and without further ado let's jump straight into this so we're going to jump straight into this right now and the first thing you guys want to do is go into a single player session and then play as Trevor now once you guys have got that sorted what you then want to do is get any vehicle that you want to bring in from single player to your multiplayer and you want to park it in the parking lot just next to the strip club now the good thing about this is all of the hipster DLC vehicles are completely free in single player which means you can go to Trevor's garage which is highlighted orange on the map get any of the DLC vehicles then bring them over to the Los Santos customs and fully upgrade them in single player then bring them all the way back over to the strip club and park it exactly as I do as you guys can see there is the strip club right there located on the map and you need to park it in the parking space exactly where I do now from there what you will now need to do is make a quick save so go ahead and bring up your phone then go to the quick save option then create a new save in a brand new slot now once you guys have got that sorted you then want to go ahead and get into any random vehicle it doesn't matter which vehicle you get into and drive as far away from the strip club as possible it doesn't really have to be too far just a good distance away and then once you guys are a good distance away what you then want to do is hold down on the d-pad and select your online character this will now put you into an online session and the key here guys is to be in an online session that is nearly full of players if you are not in a session that is nearly full of players simply find a new session i would say a minimum of 12 players is fine and then what you want to do is press start then go to the xbox game store and press a once it will now put you onto this screen that says are you sure you want to access the xbox game store now you have to be really quick and really precise here guys press a to enter the game store then hold down on the d-pad and select trevor from single player as quick as you can you have to be really fast guys and if done correctly it will say are you sure you want to quit the session simply wait on that screen for five seconds and then press a and it will now start to transition you into another session but before it completely does that it's now going to transition you to the game store just before it puts you down into the session as you guys can now see so once it puts you into the game store simply press B to quit from the game store and it will now put you down into a glitched session now you may be frozen or you may be able to move around either way what you now want to do is press start once again and go to the game store once again now this time when you do go to the game store and when you do eventually back out from the game store it will then put you into an online session as Trevor from single player and you guys are going to see the mini map from online you guys are going to be able to interact with all the online things from online but you are going to be playing as Trevor now here's where the main part of the glitch comes into play what you now want to do is make your way over towards the strip club exactly where you parked your vehicle in single player so go ahead and make your way over to the strip club you will also need a friend to come and assist you for this part so go ahead and invite a friend to your game and also have him meet you behind the strip club as well exactly where the parking spaces were where you parked the vehicle now once your friend is over there and watching over the parking spaces whilst you are also over there as well you want to press start then go to the game store once again guys i know you have to go to the game store a lot but it's definitely worth it in the end up but this time you will notice when you actually go to the game store this time and then you do back out from the game store this time it's then going to load your single player data which means when you go back down into that same online session it is now going to load your single player car exactly where you parked it in single player and once again guys i do know there is quite a few steps to this glitch but it is definitely worth it in the end up if you do want them dlc vehicles or if you also want the pure gold tint which you can't actually get until you are rank 100 anyway guys once you do spawn back down into the game the vehicle has now loaded you can't see it just yet but your friend can so go ahead and kill yourself and then when you kill yourself you will now respawn as your multiplayer character and then you can go ahead and make your way back over to behind the strip club and the vehicle is now there which means you have successfully done the glitch as you guys can now see the vehicle is there so i can go ahead and drive this around and this is how to bring single player cars 
to online after the patch 1.14. Now that was part one of the glitch. Now part two of this glitch is how to store the vehicles in your garage and it's slightly trickier than it used to be. There is definitely a working method guys. I tested it today and it worked which means a new video is going to be coming to you guys very very soon preferably within two three hours after this one on how to store these in your garage. If we can try and get around a thousand likes beforehand guys that would be awesome and I'll try to get that out to you guys ASAP because I know a lot of you out there want to know a new insurance glitch or rather the new store any car in your garage glitch after the patch 1.14 and that is going to be coming to you guys very soon. Anyway guys with that being said I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all in the next video.